We're just a few seconds away from the issuance of the launch command. T minus 20 seconds. The launch command has been issued, main engine start, and liftoff of the ISS Progress 46, the 46th resupply ship to the International Space Station. Twenty seconds into the flight, Roll and pitch program initiated. Nominal performance so far from the first stage. The vehicle is stable according to the reports being received from the Russian Mission Control Center via the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Chamber pressure is nominal, going through maximum dynamic pressure downrange. Roll pitch and yaw on the vehicle is all by the book. 70 seconds into the flight, the flight is reported to be nominal. Coming up on the 1 minute 30 second mark into the flight. All parameters reported to be no nominal. The vehicle traveling almost 1400 miles an hour. Coming up on the two-minute mark into the flight, the four strap-on boosters will be jettisoned and will be standing by for first stage separation. First stage separation is confirmed. Everything is nominal. The Soyuz booster is traveling at about 3,500 miles an hour right now, some 30 statute miles in altitude. A few seconds from now, the escape tower and launch shroud will be jettisoned. Coming up on the three-minute mark into the flight, the launch shroud has been jettisoned, exposing the Progress 46 vehicle to the launch dynamics. All control systems are reported to be nominal. Soyuz now traveling 5,000 miles an hour downrange. All systems reported to be functioning normally. The second uh, stage engines are reported to be functioning normally. Everything is uh, going by the book. 220 seconds into the flight, uh, as it is calculated by the launch engineers down in Baikonur, all systems are functioning normally. The vehicle is stable, running uh, on the second stage engines. Everything is going extremely well as the progress heads toward orbit. Roll, pitch, and yaw parameters are normal. Second stage engines are functioning normally. 
You're looking uh, at the progress disappearing from view downrange through long-range tracking cameras 260 seconds into the flight. The flight is reported to be nominal. Coming up on the five minute mark into the flight. We've confirmed second stage separation. The third stage engines now burning. The Soyuz now at an altitude of 105 miles. Traveling almost 10,000 miles an hour downrange. The vehicle stabilization is reported to be nominal. Almost six minutes into the flight. The single engine of the Soyuz booster's third stage providing uh, this final boost uphill for the Progress 46. Control system parameters reported to be nominal. You're looking at the International Space Station Flight Control Room at the Russian Mission Control Center in Korolyov outside Moscow, monitoring uh, the performance uh, being reported by the launch engineering team uh, down at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Launch time was 5.06 and 40 seconds p.m. Central Time, 5.06 a.m. Baikonur Time on Thursday morning. Everything uh, continuing uh, to go by the book. Third stage engine is performing normally almost eight minutes into the flight. The flight is nominal. We're in the home stretch of the Progress 46 ascent to orbit. About 35 seconds of powered flight uh, remaining on the third stage. The third stage engine continues uh, to burn normally. Coming up on the nine minute mark into the flight, everything continues to function normally. The vehicle is still reported to be stable. 500 seconds into the flight, everything is nominal with the vehicle. We're awaiting a third stage shutdown. The control systems uh, are nominal. Third stage engine continues to function normally in its final seconds. And we have third stage shutdown and spacecraft separation. Standing by for solar array and navigational antenna deployment.
And we have confirmation now of solar array deploy, navigational antenna deploy, the International Space Station's Progress 46 cargo craft now in orbit, in its preliminary orbit, en route to the International Space Station after a flawless launch from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan.